Hello and welcome back to another Touring Teacher Learning From Home video. Today we're doing another poetry lesson because I know you guys love these ones. And the poetry that we're doing today is free verse poetry. So let's have a look at what it actually means. When we are writing free verse poetry, there are only three things we need to think about. First of all, you do not need to rhyme. I know that we are used to rhyming in poetry, but in free verse poetry, it makes it really stand out when there are no rhymes. The second thing is that there are no rules that you need to follow. Again, I know we're used to following rules for poetry, but this one is different. And the most important part, if we're not rhyming and there are no rules to follow, we do need to make sure that we are creating a visual picture for our readers. That is the most important part. So what is free verse poetry? A free verse poem is simple, with no rules to follow. But this could make it a bit of a tricky poem to write. Because there are no formal rules to follow, you just need to focus on writing a poem that will capture your readers. Some ways that you can do this is by using well-chosen words, alliteration, and personification. Okay, so let's look closely at our well-chosen words. I know we need to choose our words correctly in all our poetry, but because we don't have any other rules to follow, these are the things that really stand out. So here are some examples. To paint a picture with your words, you need to choose the right words. The best place to start is by choosing a topic. If your topic is about something exciting and fun, you would use short, choppy words like go, up, fast, and quick. Or if your topic is about something fun and exciting, you could use some sound words or onomatopoeia. We've already done a video about that if you'd like to have a look. Some of the sound words we could use are zip, zoom, splish, splash. If your topic is about something calm, quiet or slow, you could use some softer words like peace, serene, calm, tranquil. Okay, now that we have a bit of an idea of some of the well-chosen words that we could use for a fast-paced poem or a slow-paced poem, here are two examples that I have written for you guys. The thunderstorm was starting. The trees are flicking back and forth. Quick raindrops hit the windows. Splish, splash, splosh. A lightning bolt breaks the clouds. Crack! All right, as you can see from that example, I've used some sound words or onomatopoeia, and I've used those quick, short, sharp words. How about we listen to a slower free verse poem? Peace is when you are floating on the still water, running your hands across the surface, feeling the breeze gliding past. Okay, and as you can tell about that example, I used some longer words and they were all words that made me feel calm and peaceful and quiet. Are we getting the idea so far? Okay, something else that we can do when we are writing free verse poetry is using alliteration. And don't you worry, I've already done an alliteration lesson video that you can have a look as well. All right, so how could we use it in our free verse poetry? Alliteration is a language feature used in writing. It is when two or more words in a sentence start the same, like seven silly sizzling sausages. So alliteration can be used in a free verse poem to help the reader feel like they're involved in the story that you are telling in your poem. Here is an example of using alliteration in a free verse poem. A snake slithered, she slid across the smooth grass, sounds serenading her senses, soaking in the sun, the secret life of a snake. Pretty good, lots of s in that one, and the life of a snake doesn't sound too bad. Okay, the next thing that we can use is some personification, and again, don't you worry, I've already got a video for you to have a look at if you want a quick reminder of what it is. But when we use it in free verse poetry, we can remember that personification is when you give something that's not human, human-like qualities or actions. Here are some examples. The moon winked at the boat. 
The waves clapped for the surfers. The sun peeped out from behind the clouds. Here is an example of how I used personification in my free verse poem. The stars were winking at me as I walked in the night, the moon peeking out of his hiding place, the darkness covering me in a blanket, the summer breeze wrapping me in a warm embrace. So as you could hear from those, I was using personification to describe all the non-human things. I really liked the idea of the wind wrapping me in a warm embrace. All right, what you'll find next are two examples of free verse poetry. There are two that I've written. One is a quick, fast paced one about going on the fearful, so scary. And the other one is a slow, calmer poem about sleeping, something else I like doing. And in those two poetry examples, you can find all the things that we talked about, choosing the right words, onomatopoeia or sound words, alliteration, personification. So pause the video on the next two slides so you can have a good read of them and see if you can spot all the things we have been talking about. So that's it for our free verse poetry lesson. I am so excited for you to get started. Remember that there are plenty of other poetry or other writing lessons on the Touring Teacher YouTube channel. So go and check those out. And while you're there, make sure you like and subscribe so you can see everything else that I've been doing for you guys. And I'll see you very soon. Have fun.